All right, that's frustrating. Take two. So, man, that sucks. I had this whole thing. It was great. I it was articulate. I had a point. I stuck through it. I backed it up with facts. I talked about this conversation I had with the guy at the shop up the street. It was awesome. And it was like 14 minutes. It was like my longest video ever. I got to do it over again. Anyway, okay. Hi, everybody. Um, it ended up being date night. Me and my lady. We went out. We got some dinner. And then we went, ran to the shop. I picked up some stuff. I read some stuff in the shop just to get a, a, a feel for all of it. Because, you know, I watch all your guys' videos. And I don't read 90% of the stuff that you guys show. And you don't read 90% of the stuff I show. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm interested. There's stuff I'm, I'm curious about picking up. I, I, uh, I make mental notes. You know, if I can find it on the cheap somewhere else down the line, then that's cool. But, you know, I read Sixth Gun. Anybody else read Sixth Gun? Okay. I'm a huge East of West fan. I know there's a couple of those out there. Excuse me. Starting off books. Sorry. I'm just a little flustered because, seriously, the last take this video was awesome. This is Saga number 31. I'm a little behind on Saga. I think I'm like three issues behind on Saga. I kind of, uh, I uh, kind of, I don't know. It was the the issue where they had to go get the dragon semen. And it kind of, I don't know. I just, I haven't picked it up since then. It wasn't, I'm not weirded out by that kind of thing. I don't care. I just, I don't know. It, that book was great and he was pushing it. But now it just kind of seems like he's just pushing it, just to push it. Excuse me, my coffee is not sitting right. Hey, buddy. It's my dog, Ollie. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that... I don't know. Anyway, Fade Out number 11. I haven't read this book since issue two. And I love Brubaker and Phillips. Absolutely. I just watched uh, Earl Grey's uh, video about Fatal, and I almost broke out all of my it back issues and read that again. That's one of my favorites. And I have read... Uh, Criminal and um, uh, what's the other one? Their other, uh, I can't remember for life of me. And that stuff was all great too. What was it? It was great. It was like the dude, they were villains, they were brother, twin brother villains, and one of them dies and that one goes in witness protection. That was great. Criminal is great too. This I don't know because I haven't read Pest Issue 2. I picked this up just to try something new, and I have been on this huge Mike Allred kick lately. Um, I'm bidding on some Mike Allred stuff on eBay right now. Uh, one of the books is a personal grill of mine. I've been watching this thing. Like the guy put it up to sell. It didn't sell, so he relisted it. I was watching it, and then it didn't sell, and I was, he relisted it the other day. It's f right now, I'm the only one that's bid on it, and it's like a third of the price of what everybody else is trying to sell the book for. So that's cool. That's awesome. So hopefully I get that. But yeah, this is... Silver Surfer number one. First print, cover price, high five. Black Science, number 18. This book is always good. Um, not always good. Even even when this book is slow, this book is better than... This book is still good. I don't want to say better than anything else. East of West 22, my favorite. My favorite out of my current list. Um, I do get books that, you know, like the back issue stuff that I do. And I like some of that stuff a lot more than I like East to West. But it, I like that stuff more than I like most of the modern age comics anyway. So it's nothing against East to West. But as far as modern comics go, this is probably top ten. Vader's in number five. Uh, this is written by Jonah Vasquez, who did... Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. I'm surprised there's not more people picking this up. In the, the cartoon, if you guys haven't seen it, it's hilarious. Um, I haven't read any of these, but it's Invader Zim. But the kid likes it. Munchkin, number 11. Same thing. It's for the kiddo. He dropped uh, Bravest Warriors, and now he's picking up Munchkin. It's got the little card in the back for the game. He plays the game. My Little Pony, Friends Forever, number 23. This is for my lady. I'm trying to keep my head in the light. Anyway, 23. Yay. She loves it. And 
while we were, we went to the shop where I have my pool and the shop of the street, and I was talking to the guy at the shop of the street about the market, because he's like, hey, have you had DK3 yet? And I was like, yeah, I just read it at the other shop, and I passed on it. And I was like, have you read the new Daredevil? Because I was watching, uh, Cammy was talking about it, and Wednesday Serial was talking about it, so I was like, I didn't really watch either one of their videos once they started saying that they had read this book and it kind of seemed like it was going to be a negative review. I just wanted to read it first before I finished watching their video just so I could see what they were talking about without being like, oh yeah, there it is. Ah, that, that, yeah, you know, and I didn't like it either. I got about halfway through and I just kind of gave up on it. The art didn't really do anything for me and I just didn't, I don't care. I don't get why they keep, I understand why they did it, why they keep relaunching the stuff, but that doesn't mean I like it. And like I was telling the guy up the street, Marvel, nor Marvel, nor DC, they don't give a shit about me. I'm, I'm like a flash in the pan for them. They're after, I'm not even the demographic that they're concerned about, you know? I'm older than I'm supposed to be for reading comic books. Um, this is a, a hobby geared towards teenagers, you know, and like early 20 people, and I'm I'm not that. So they don't care about me, and that's, that's fine. I get it. I only read one Marvel book now. Well, maybe two if I decide I like Silver Surfer, but that's a back issue, so that doesn't count. I understand why they're doing it. It's just it's all bullshit. <laughs> Pardon my French. So then while we're ranting about the market and the, the gimmicky and the relaunch and we talked a little bit about Deadpool and all this other stuff and how it's all about just getting your attention so you buy the book and we're standing by the rack and I went, ooh, what's that? It was funny because it was like I had this point that I was getting towards in the conversation about how it's all, they're just pushing their product and then I see something, I'm like, I have to have that. And it was this, uh, I don't know anything about this. I haven't seen anybody talking about this. This is Captain America by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sell. They had the first four issues. I picked up, I dug through, and I found really nice copies of the first four issues. I take them up to the counter, and the new girl at the shop, she like grabs the books like this. Like this. Like she, she, she does this, like with the books. Like this is the spine size, right? Like she's figuring out the price, and she seriously, she does this with the books. And she puts it on the counter, and it like doesn't even like lay flat anymore. I'm like, I'm not sure I want that. So I put those back. But this one made it unscathed. So that's cool. So if I like this, and I'm sure I will, because it's Jeff Loeb and Tim Sell. Cool. And last but not least, Revival number 35. I'm a little behind on this book. Like, a lot. I need to get to reading. Anyway, that's it. This version of this video was a lot shorter than the last one. Hopefully this works. Because if it doesn't, take three will be super short. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.